Hello and welcome to Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. It is day 11 of winter and no birthdays today. Good morning, Snowdrop. We'll let Magnolia sleep for a little longer and, um, Go visit the Earth Sprites. After we've um, emptied our inventory a little, of course. Let's see what they've got for us today. More supple logs, always useful. And the uh, journey sprite we need to level up, so nice to see them too over here. Right. Let's sort all of this out. I think this is where we keep the cans, yeah. And the rock salt. We have uh, quite a few fish, so we'll sell those. And of course the veggies and the food actually as well. And the silver and stone. Let's also sell some of these fish and sea creatures. Hopefully that's enough space in there for other stuff we want to sell throughout the day. Wool and fur into there and grasses into here. And then we just need to place the logs and gold ore. Let's go and um, say good morning to Magnolia. Oh, good morning, darling. Now, we do want to visit the summer garden today, so let's do that now. There's corn and red pepper and zucchini and melons here and seeds too. So the pumpkin, watermelon and red pepper seeds and then we'll make seeds out of the uh, melon and zucchini so we'll leave those red peppers here to wait for their turn to be turned into seeds. And we totally do not have enough room left in the shipping bin because the trees are harvestable too. 
this is, I think, our, um, well, out of all the seasonal guardians we have, this is the one that kind of produces the most different kinds of things. So whenever we have um, the trees and the fields to harvest here, it's going to take up a lot of inventory space or shipping bin space. I don't think we'll be able to sell very many of those fish today. Oh well, we'll just take some of the fish out of the shipping bin and place them back into that chest. It's alright. I wish there was a shop where we could just straight up sell the stuff so we wouldn't be limited by the space in the shipping bin. But, oh well. Yeah, we'll want to sell most of the stuff. The melons and the lemons can go into the fridge, but I think, yeah, everything else we'll want to sell, except for the, the uh, cacao, of course, that we're going to turn into cocoa powder. And the special crops we'll put into the special crops chest. And we'll still need to make room for the cheese and butter in there. Hmm. Oh well, maybe we'll be able to sell a few fish today. We'll see. Let's get rid of this rock and go look after our animals. Hello Ophelia, Daisy, Willow, Blossom, Arlo, Fern, Acacia, Dandelion, Ash, and Cherry. Thank you all so much for the wool and fur. Here's some food. Hello, Ebony. Geranium, Bluebell, Clementine, Pepper, Hibiscus, Cocoa, Haiku and Ginger. Thank you all so much for the milk. Here's some food. Oh. 
and then the chickens. There. Hello, chamomile. Crocus. Apricot Poppy Nettle Ruby Anise Limerick Amethyst See, thank you all so much for the eggs. Here's some food. So yeah, we don't need any more um chicken breeding kits. We just need the uh, livestock breeding kits. So that's lovely. All the chickens we currently have, we will get to keep. They all produce 10 star quality eggs. With the uh, livestock though, the uh, milk producing animals, with them we have some work to do still. I think most of them produce six star quality milk. But we will get to 10 stars with them too eventually. Mushroom spores. These are done. We'll make spores out of them. Oh. Hello, Magnolia. Um. Yeah, we need to put the wool in here. into the making. to sell like three of those fish that we caught yesterday. Well, tomorrow is going to be the um, autumn garden thing. Uh, so that won't take, take up quite as much space in the shipping bin. Put the mushrooms into the fridge and the coffee powder too, of course. There. And, um... 
Um, I don't want to miss Rager's Nine Heart event. Or the uh, kind of window to see it for today. So let's grab some stuff. Those things that we want to process and the guardian bait just in case and of course the gifts. And let's get going. We'll of course start our socializing from the oasis. So we'll get to see Rhaegar's Nine Heart event, hopefully. Marian, hello. So hungry. Isn't there like a bazaar just there that sells all, all sorts of fruit and things? This is amazing. I'm pleased to hear that, but you had me worried there for a second, sir. I wasn't sure what to think after you burst through the doors. You were so pale I thought you might have seen a ghost. Still, finding someone collapsed on the ground will do that to you. I suppose we should be thankful the cause was only an empty stomach. I'm just relieved this didn't turn into a bigger fiasco. That's on me, I'm afraid. I'm sorry to give you both such a fright. The food was absolutely delightful though. Thank you kindly. I've sampled dishes from every corner of the world, but yours is good enough to rank up there with the best. It's alright. You don't need to exaggerate for my sake. You want to know what I drank in first place? Great question. My top spot is an undefeated champion. It belongs to a restaurant in Oak Tree Town that I used to eat at decades ago. Hmm? What's that look for? Nothing, it's just Oak Tree Town is where I'm from. If you were there a few decades ago, that would have been when my grandfather was still running the restaurant. What? You're his grandson? Talk about coincidences. That explains why your food tasted so familiar. Did it taste the same as my grandfather's by any chance? Hmm. No, it wasn't exactly the same. After all, if the ingredients you use taste even slightly different, it'll change the flavor of the entire dish. Even if the same person makes the same recipe, the flavor of the dish won't necessarily be identical, all the more so if someone else is making it. But food mirrors the chef who cooked it. That's why some things never change. The moment I tasted your dish, it brought back fond memories of your grandfather and his restaurant. The two of you have a talent for creating mild, gentle flavors. It's obvious that you take your customer into consideration as you make it. His personality undoubtedly shines through in your cooking, which proves you've inherited the one thing that made his food so special. Thank you very much. By the way, 
I get the sense that you're trying to recreate his flavor. Let me tell you, that's a Herculean task. He never really measured anything and always went with his gut. He even used to create specialized dishes for regulars, if I remember correctly. Yes, you're exactly right. No, I'm glad you came to me, Heather. I should probably be the one thanking you. I think I was meant to meet that man. It's almost as if you brought the two of us together. After that encounter, I'm more sure than ever. It's important to keep my grandfather's recipes, but following them step by step isn't necessarily the way to go. What's most important is to keep in mind who's going to be eating it. That's great! Yeah, thanks, but you're the reason I managed to remember that. If I had cooked for him before I met you, I'm sure I would have disappointed him. You don't think so? You say my cooking always had that gentle flavor, and I just never realized it? Sorry, please, don't look at me. Something tells me that I have a very strange expression on my face right now. Um, well, even if the tourist would have told me the same thing I had met, had I met him before you, if you hadn't been there smiling beside me, I can guarantee you that I wouldn't have been nearly as happy as I am right now. I'm so incredibly lucky to have met you, Heather. Thank you so much for finding me. And thank you for staying with me through it all. Aww. You're welcome. Well, that was lovely. I'm so happy for Rager. He's, uh, he's starting to come into his own with the cooking and, uh, and starting to discover his own way, kind of. Sort of like his grandfather's, but not trying to copy his foods, like, exactly. That's wonderful. And of course I wish him all the best. Hopefully he can now go on to reopen his restaurant and um, confidently be himself as a chef and restaurant owner. Right. I don't have pasta for Dunhill. You're going to have to make do with mayo today, too. Felicia? Ina? Right. Let's go back home. We need to cook a seafood dish for Marcos and uh, grab a pineapple for Manuela. Um, 
do we have have I forgotten to make pineapple seeds because that's a summer crop and today when we were in our summer garden I didn't see any pineapple seeds or pineapples waiting to be made into seeds or or pineapples growing in our summer garden. I think at some point I must have forgotten to leave some pineapples there to wait for their turn to be made into seeds. I'll have to see if, if I'll remember to correct that at some point. Um, let's begin our kind of a socializing and gift giving tour of the town from here. Marcos. Manuela. Emilio. Raul mm. Misaki Oh, there are lots of people here <laughs> Jacopo Love it. Oh. Oh. And Blair. Mm -hmm. Let's go into the hotel next. Jason. Oops, um, that's not what I meant to give you. Oh well, it would have had the same effect. Had I given him mayo? Mm. So it's fine. Sally? <laughs> and is Mikey still out after 7 p.m.? He is. Hello, Beth. Mikey, hi. savor the festivals all the more for them ending so quickly. Right? <laughs> Lin? Oh. Nguyen? Over here, Jean, oh. Oh. Karina, oh. 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 
Lars. Hello. Norman. Nigel. Dosetsu. We'll go see him first and then see about today's request. Hi. A sparkling fish. I love it. We actually do need more hearts with him. And we do have a little bit of time. We could go see if we can get lucky and land a sparkling fish. I think we can catch one from here. They are pretty rare though, so we'll see. Common squid. Sardine. Oh, we don't have time for very many more attempts. We'll soon have to go home and get to bed. It's heavy, but it can't be a sparkling fish because there was only one exclamation point. Yeah, sardine. One more try. She shall most melt. Didn't get lucky. But um, at least we got a little bit of fishing axe. Unfortunately, we also got more fish to clog up our inventory, but oh well, can't be helped. You got a fish if you want to level up your fishing skill. That's it though. The guardian bait is going to be nice because with it you only catch guardian fish. So yeah. Let's wish our cats good night and go to bed. And maybe one of these days we'll go do some guardian fishing again. For now though, thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. If you'd like to show some support, please leave this video a like and perhaps a comment too. I'd really appreciate that. 
and if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.